Hello, this is Rich and welcome to section five. And in this section, we're gonna cover source transformations. And so source transformations are where we can take a voltage source and a resistor in series and convert it to a current source and resistor in parallel. And, and what we're actually gonna, going to do is we're gonna convert back and forth between voltage sources and current sources and use that technique to solve circuits problems. The connector between the two is that Vs equals Is times R. So the resistor value will always stay the same and then we'll convert the current and voltage sources to do the transformations. And so we have the following example. We'd like to determine the power delivered to the 10 volt source on the left. And so we're gonna start on the right of the circuit and then work source transformations from right to left. And so to get started, let's first preserve the part that we're interested in. And we so we can't do any source transformations on the 10 volt source and the accompanying one ohm resistor. So I'm gonna draw a red box around that. In the example, the red box will stay there. And I strongly encourage when you work source transformation examples that you always have a box around the part of the circuit which cannot be touched. And so we're gonna start on the right and take the two amp source and the three ohm resistor and, tr and transform it into a voltage source and resistor in series. And so our two amp source and three ohm resistor in parallel can be changed to a six volt source and three ohms in series. And so V equals IR so Vs is two amps times three ohms equal to six volts, and therefore our replacement is six volts and a three ohm resistor in series. So looking at that, it looks like this. So we have the circuit on the left and we're gonna transform it to the circuit on the right. While preserving the 10 volt source. The next slide, so we're gonna take this circuit on the left, which is from our previous slide, and then combine the two and the three ohm resistor to give us five ohms. Now we have a current source of, um, excuse me, a voltage source and a resistor in series. We're gonna transform that to a current source and resistor in parallel as follows. And so in the following transition, V equals IR, I is equal to V divided by R, and so six divided by five is 1.2 amps. The resistor comes down in parallel. Now we have two five ohm resistors in parallel across the same bus. So we can put those resistors in series and then combine them. So five and five in series makes two and a half as follows. And so I'm gonna combine the two fives and then I'll get a two and a half there. Now, again, I have a current source and resistor in parallel, so I can transform this, V equals IR. So 1.2 times 2.5 is going to be three volts, and then my two and a half ohms goes up top. Now, I can't do any more source transformations without getting into the red box, so I'll just stop here and then I'll solve. And what I really need to do, if I, if I want to know the power through the 10 volt resistor, is I need to determine the current through the, I'm sorry, the power through the 10 volt current source, I need to calculate the current through the 10 volt source. And so to do that, I know that on the left hand side of the circuit, the potential is 10 volts. And on the right hand side of the circuit at the top, the potential is three volts. So the voltage drop across the one ohm and the two and a half ohm collectively is 10 minus three volts. And so that gives me seven volts. And then that seven is divided by three and a half ohms to give me two amps. So the current flow through the 10 volt source is two amps. Power is equal to V times I. So 10 times two is 20 watts. And so the 10 volt source is delivering 20 watts to the circuit. And so this is source transformations. And again, I can't emphasize enough um, boxing what you, you should not transform or not touch and a lot of students will make that mistake early on. Also, uh, I drew a lot of pictures as we walk through the process. You might not need to draw as many, but several 
redrawing the 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 circuit in several places along the way is definitely beneficial. Taking a look at this problem in a little bit different way, if we if we did solve it with no voltage, um, here's the solution and we work through and we find that V1 is equal to 8 volts and V2 is equal to 7.2 volts. And so if V1 is 8 volts, then I can calculate the current across the 1 ohm resistor in the upper left hand corner. And so 10 minus 8 divided by 1 is 2 amps again. So I get a 2 amp load through the 10 volt source and then the power again is 20 watts. And so you get to see the problem solved a couple different ways. And, and again, I think this case probably no voltage is faster, but we'll use source transformations in other ways. And so this has been an introduction to source transformations.